Hey guys, Sean Bougie, surplusfundsriches.net. I want to talk about what's going to happen once you launch your business. It, if you run it the right way and stay legal and consistently work any of our programs, either the flipping programs, the surplus programs, any of our programs, you're going to do very well. The issue that's going to come up <laughs> with friends and family is everybody's going to want to know what you're doing. Now, this is why I like both flipping property and doing surplus because it's, frankly, it's a little difficult to explain what surplus funds are uh, to people that, especially people with absolutely no knowledge of real estate. Uh, basically, it's unclaimed money created by a foreclosure. That makes it a little easier. But when you get into that, it turns into this long conversation and it just doesn't go well. So, I tend to tell people I flip property. The fact that I also do the majority of my business in surplus funds, while well, 50 50 in surplus funds, I don't need to bring up. And the reason is flipping property, people go, okay, I get it. No problem. That's great. And they understand how, especially in the market for the last couple of years, you can make great money. They're still going to question you. And one of the things you're going to get is friends and family are going to want to ride your coattails. They're going to want to get in on the business, but they don't want to do the work. If you feel the need to bring somebody in to help you with something, I completely understand and respect that. But understand that finding a partner, a business partner that is going to work as hard as you and take it as seriously as you and put in the time, energy, and frankly money necessary to run a successful business is extremely rare. I am blessed, excuse me, to have Jeff as my business partner. Blessed beyond belief, excuse me. Over 20 years we've been together. And there's a couple of things that helped us do that. One was, we had a previous relationship working in a different business. We were uh, on the same team for real estate. So that made things a little easier. We kind of knew what to expect from one another and we respected one another's knowledge and work ethic and each other as a person. So that made it a lot easier for us to work together. Secondly, we kind of keep personal separate and for the most part. Now look, we'll talk five, six times a day. Okay, and I consider Jeff a great friend and we would do anything for each other, but we keep one another arm's length as far as, um, you know, we're not constantly going out and doing stuff together. And that's gonna sound odd to a lot of you, but that's simply how it's worked out with us. It wasn't, an, uh, it wasn't a decision, right? We said, oh, we're not gonna hang out. No, it just kind of worked out that way. We, we both do our own thing. Jeff is very much a family man. I've been a family man too. I also have other interests. He has other interests. Um, occasionally they overlap. We went hunting together, tried that for a while, failed miserably. But, <laughs> but you're gonna get other people that try to get, horn their way into your business, right? They'll even try to tell you how to work it. Well, you know, that's a great idea, but I think if you did this, oh, shut up. You know, I'm doing my business. This is my business. You don't get to tell me how to do it. You've gotta set firm, boundaries. I had a family member. Sean, you're making great money flipping property. I want to get in on that. This particular fam family member was extremely conservative. Love them to death, but they're extremely conservative. And I knew they wouldn't take the risks necessary, particularly in flipping, you know, putting some money out up front to make this whole thing work. So I basically said, Hey, I got no problem. I'll teach you how to do this. Um, uh, you want to, I'll even give you half the money. You're going to have to split half the money up front. Whoa, what? Yeah, we got to pay off the, this is flipping, pay off the taxes up front. We got to, we got to do some things up front, pay for skip tracing and some other stuff. But when it comes back around, you're usually going to net X amount of dollars. And they bailed. So lay it out to them, set firm boundaries. And guys, it's okay to not talk about what you do with people that you don't think would be a good fit for your business. Thanks. Hope this has helped. Have a great day.